guys, I am Adu playing Death of May Cry 4 Special Edition, and this is my Dante Must Die run for Nero and Dante. This mission is, there's no bosses, and it's just going to be a lot of platforming and a few enemies here and there. Um, I'm not a fan of this mission. I, uh, it's nothing fun. Like, the thing of Devil May Cry is it's always been a lot of fun because they will just put in bosses for the sake of having bosses. And I like that. I like just, like, you know, having big-ass enemies to fight against or, as the case may be, tricky smaller enemies like Kratos, for example. Like, I love that sort of shit. Um, and if I'm honest, I'm not a fan of platforming in Devil May Cry. don't mind a little bit of it. Um... Despite not liking the savior fight on the whole, I do like the platforming for that mission in particular. But just let a man fight, you know? <laughs> like, it's like, hey, here's a game about fighting. Run around doing stupid shit for half an hour before you get to do it. It's just a bit... It doesn't feel good, you know? But, yeah, there's a lot of platforming. I forgot I didn't actually need to do that fight. I mean, with this guide, I am just going to be skipping the fights that I don't need to do, if I remember to do so. Um... Because, like, there's really no need. Like, this is, a, this is a video series for those who just want to pass the difficulty, those who are struggling. And doing unnecessary fights is obviously going to make you struggle harder. Um, oh, you get to see Frost here. So Frost is, like, this is when you first meet a Frost. Frost on Dante Must Die are very difficult to buster. When you grapple one, it will, like, jump away. So you got to, like, grab one and then uh, grab it instantly again. So you got to pull him in and then grab instantly. Otherwise, they'll just get away. I'll try and demonstrate it. Um, let's see if I don't fuck this up. <laughs> just out of range. Oh, they also dodge a buster a lot. I completely forgot about that. And I got hit because I'm fucking terrible. So I think um, a lot of people are going to like find it funny that someone like me is making um, a guide on Dancy Must Die. Uh, the thing is, yeah, like, yeah, I know I'm not the best pl There you go, see, he pulls away there. I'm not the best player in the world. Um, but it's really hard to talk and play at the same time, so give me a bit of leeway. You veterans, don't get too angry at me. But yeah, with Frosts, just don't, like, walk into their stuff. And I'm going to say that a lot, but enemies with choreographed attacks, which are most attacks in the game, there's no need to get hit by them. Um, and with Frost in particular, like, charge shot level 3 is the way to go. You can bust them to stun them for a moment and then focus another one, because they do, like, stop acting for a second when you um, pull someone in, uh, the Frosts in in particular. And that's really helpful when you're fighting multiple enemies, because the thing with Frost is they can gang rape you, you can get frozen, and that's when they get their big damage. Like, one will freeze you, another will do something else, and you just lose so much unnecessary health. So stunning one and moving on to the next is a really useful tool to have. Um, I hate this mission so much because I can't ever remember where to go. I think it's this way. Okay, I'm just going to skip these enemies. These you wouldn't normally see here. Um, I believe it's this way. You should go all the way around, if I remember rightly. But yeah, um, yeah, there we go. It's just such a unnecessary, confusing... Uh, unnecessarily confusing level. And the first time I played it, it took me forever to work out where to go. So, when you're facing the flying swords as Nero, a charge shot of any level will insta-kill them if they're, like, spinning. So, you see that one... Okay, well, that one was spinning in a different way, but that one also works. Um, it doesn't insta-kill with a level 1 charge shot if... Man, I am playing so badly. Um, it doesn't insta-kill with a level 1 charge shot if they're spinning like that. If they're doing the other kind of spinning, how did that not shoot the guy I wanted? Jesus. But um, if they're doing the other kind of spinning, then, like that one that's coming at me right there that I choose to not Devil Trigger, <laughs> then a charge shot should just kill them on any level. So that's a fight where if, if I'm not talking at the same time as playing, I probably don't get hit at all. I can focus more. So I do apologize once again, and I apologize in advance, that will happen quite a bit. Talking and playing a game at the same time is really hard. Now this is where I mess up like 50 times platforming this area. And this is just one of the things that I'm not a fan of in the game. Like, like yeah, platforming's okay and all, but it's just not... Oh, I fucked that up. Donkey balls. 
but it's just not the point of the game to me. This is why I prefer Bloody Palace. I prefer to just get down and dirty and just beat the shit out of things, have a lot of fun, you know, just do some silly stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm just going to clear out these guys. It's just Scarecrows this time. I thought it would have been uh, Flying Swords again. Are they called Gladius? I think they might be called Gladius. Do <clears throat> so let's not fuck up this platforming. If you have the same problems as I do, then I feel you. I don't like this section. And a lot of the things I'm bad at in the game, I'm not bad at because I'm incapable. I'm bad at because I don't enjoy doing them. For example, the Sanctus fights on missions. And I'm going to focus on this shit now. Nope. Cool. Uh... There we go. Okay. So, the things that I'm bad at in the game, I'm not bad at because I can't do it. I'm bad at them because I don't practice them, because I don't find them enjoyable. For example, the Sanctus fights on missions 11 and 20. Like, I suck at them, unless I'm playing Virgil, obviously, because Virgil's broken and he has the answer to everything. And it's just... <laughs> I just don't like doing it, so I don't play it like it's just such a frustrating fight like you're just chasing the guy in circles forever and if i practiced it more i know there's ways you can very quickly do it and get rid of him but why would you practice something you don't enjoy if you've beaten it already like that just that's counterintuitive and i think a lot of people will understand that like for example i bet a lot of people don't like the savior fight now the savior fight is something that i like the concept of um because it's, it, the first time you play it, as someone new to the series, it's really cool. It's like, holy shit, it's this giant statue. I'm completely outmatched here, and I've got to actually be smart. I've got to take it down. I've got to, you know, take out those gems, got to do it bit by bit. And that's really cool. But it's such a slow goddamn fight. It's just so boring once you've done it, like, once or twice. And the first time you do it, it makes you think. It's really hard. But... It's just so boring after that. Like, I played it a couple of times recently just to, you know, get some practice in with Nero again because I hadn't played Nero in years because I've got Special Edition just to play Virgil because Virgil was my favorite character in the Devil May Cry series. And so when I wanted to make this video guide, I I had to practice Dante Must Die difficulty. So this is why I'm not as good at Nero as I could be. Um, yes, it's an excuse, don't care. <laughs> it's a fact. Like, I'm not ashamed of it. I hadn't played this game for years prior to Special Edition. So, in recent times, in terms of my Nero and Dante experience, I've got a playthrough of Dante Must Die difficulty. Now, I didn't need to, like, practice on any lower difficulties or anything like that. Um, I was able to do it. I did get the Abandon All Hope a couple of times as Dante. I didn't get it at all as Nero. Um... So I'm not too bad, but I'm not as good as I could be. And that's just because I don't have the time put into the game. I play a lot of other games as well. So I do apologize if I trigger people who are like really good at the game. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't pissed you off too much at this point. So this is the fight with the White Knights. And on Dante Must Die, it can be a bit tricky, but these guys are not that bad. If you get behind them, you can just have your fun with them. Like, for example... I'll just kill this guy and I'll demonstrate it on the next guy. Um, wow. I'd have no idea how fucking whatever that's called turns into their streak. But what you can do with these guys, you can buster, roll, and then you can just do whatever you want. Um, if you clash your sword off the shield, I'll try and demonstrate that one too. It's a quite a way, cool way of dealing with dancing this guy. You can actually just buster. Um, be careful when doing it as it does leave you open, of course, because you are locked in an animation. Um, but... Wow, okay. I'm a bad. But it is a cool little way of just getting rid of them. And if you have Devil Trigger up, uh, you're pretty much just safe against them because the second hit will just clash off the shields. So that's how you do this mission. It's not one I favor a lot, and I know it's not the most interesting to watch. But I've got to do it to show it off to people. And in all fairness, maybe you guys learned a couple of things on dealing with the, uh, what are they called? Blancos? Angelo Blancos or something? Um, 
I'm not going to get any S ranks because I'm not stopping off for orbs. And I'm not being overly stylish because I am skipping some fights. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.